What's up, gearheads? It's Trev. Back on the Rusty Renegade. And today at the garage, we're going to be dealing with more rust on the Rusty Renegade. Now, we have known for a long time on this Jeep that the floor pans have some, uh, let's say, ventilation. Now, this side is still okay safe however I was riding in this seat the other day and noticed a problem with the passenger side yeah you see that yikes this seat belt doesn't do much anymore and actually that's welded to a plate that was welded under there as a previous repair now that I'm really looking at it I can see the ground so Today, I'm going to be taking all the carpet out to do what should have been done a long time ago, and that's assess the damage. We're going to see just how bad the rust on these floor pans really is, because that's pretty bad, and it's not safe. Now, one of the nice things about Jeeps is the carpet is divided up into front and back portions, and basically just pulls right out. There's a couple of points where it can secure... This one, of course, is missing the clamps for it, but it's really easy to take this carpet out. So we're gonna yank it. I just can't get it to let go of the center console. It's almost there, it's just that one corner. Let go! Ah. Well, Part of the problem is Michelle likes to leave her Jeep open all summer long. That thing is soaked. Oh boy. I don't know if you guys want to see this. Here's the passenger side. That's really bad. That's pretty bad. I gotta get this back section of carpet out still. We already know what that looks like. Coming around to the driver's side. Really bad. Oh boy. Wow. That is not good. That is not good at all. Ugh. The biggest problem is all of this carpet is just soaked. So it's holding in all that moisture. Luckily the back area here, it's not too bad those floors so as pointless as it is I pulled the drain plugs out of this thing on the YJ's you just have these rubber plugs which over time get really hard but let's go look at the damage here's a seat belt somebody tried fixing that at one point obviously it needs more not too terrible back here definitely gonna need some attention but not right away we'll try and save this as long as we can uh, that's why I took the drain plugs out we got a big hole right here so the passenger floor pan needs attention this section needs immediate attention as for the driver's side somebody patched here at one point patched here you see it's had this ongoing problem somebody patched here at one point this is all one big square but this needs an entire floor pan this old repair is shot so for all you southern and western boys that don't have to deal with rust like this be grateful this is what us northerners have to deal with on a regular basis and let that be a lesson learned to everybody 
if you own a Jeep and you like taking the top off or leaving it open and it's going to get rained on, take the carpet out because this crap being soaking wet with all this insulation holds all the moisture in and that's how you get this and this. Okay, here's where we're at with the rust situation. This is priority. Got to fasten the seat belt down and it's got to be secure. Now this is this bracket is solid on here. So I'm thinking I need to bridge this gap. So if I can get enough clean metal, I can weld this plate to here, which is nice and strong. And over here, if I can get it to sit level enough, I'll put something underneath it, another piece of metal underneath it, just to try and fill in the hole. And that'll be a temporary fix. Obviously, a temporary fix. Now, as far as the front floor pans go, until Shell gets new floor pans for me to weld in, I'm probably just going to try and cut out some metal and just screw it in for now just to brace things up and patch the holes and that will be another you guessed it temporary fix I keep having to let my air compressor charge up while I'm grinding over here big one is at Sam's garage uh, I cut this out to this hole over here again temporary fix so I'm just gonna drill holes into here and bolt this down well I suppose that works for now not the sturdiest but closes up the hole now I guess I'll do that side I'm letting the air compressor cool down a bit like I said big air compressor that I bought is at Sam's garage I got this little guy here it works it gets the job done but it's just not quite big enough for my needs I use it <laughs> okay so passenger side like we just saw driver's side at least it blocks the holes off for now adds a small amount of structure now, if I only I could get this done. Okay, update. I've got the metal over here as clean as I can get it. And if you've watched any of the other videos on this Jeep, you know finding clean metal on this thing is not easy. Also, after climbing in and out of here a couple of times, this was super flimsy. So I took my last piece of scrap diamond plate, covered up that other hole that was right here. I was going to let it go, but... This floor is ready to collapse and now it's much, much sturdier. So I don't think I need to worry about Michelle putting her foot through it. At least not right away. Just needs to avoid this area. But this was bouncing up and down before. Now pretty solid. Now I have serviced my welder. I got a new tip on it. I got a fresh spool of wire on it. I got the regulator fixed so I have gas again. I made a pretty damn good weld the other day on a piece of exhaust. Mm -hmm. So when this does not come out well, it's because it's the rusty renegade. <laughs> I'm blaming it solely on this Jeep. Okay, so every once in a while I'll hear an actual solid weld. Now I'm going to hammer this thing down, see if I can't get it flat, weld it to what little metal I have left showing. I still don't know if I'm going to trust anybody in this passenger seat. This is bad. So what's the good news about that? My welds did not break. <laughs> All right, okay. That metal 
is horrible. That looks like crap. This looks terrible overall, except for that right there. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is what happens when I find clean metal. As you see, sorry, it's probably shaking like this because for whatever reason I can't keep my hand steady. But <laughs> as you see, if I can get clean metal and get a pool going with the welder, I can actually lay a nice bead. Once again, the trick with this thing, pop, <laughs> is finding metal. That's still really hot. Uh, that's still got a little bit of motion. Yeah, I still wouldn't trust that in an accident. I think that would rip right out of the floor. It's welded. It's secure. But bridging that gap like that... If, there, if God forbid somebody was to get into an accident with this thing and there was a passenger at the seat, I think that seatbelt's coming right out of the floor. I did my best for a temporary fix. The thing needs floor pans. I'm going to tell Shell to avoid passengers as much as possible. Got as much done repair-wise to the interior as I could. It's at least in better shape than what it was. Until Michelle can get some floor pans, it is what it is. So, comment below how dangerous you think this is. Comment below how crappy my welding is. Say whatever you want. <laughs> I gave it the old college try on this one. Did what I could with what little I had. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later.